How we doing fellow cannabisians? I got some tips for some long flowering plants. I'll buy that for a dollar. Sativa, my favorite. Some people don't necessarily like that, but I'm talking about native land race strains. Equilateral in origin. Can take anywhere from, I would say, 15 to 22 weeks to flower. Now during this time, a lot of chemical changes are gonna be going on within the plant. And these are just some tips to make sure that the buds finish correctly for you. So my first tip will be slow release nutrients. Uh, things that take some time to break down. I actually prefer organic growing, leaving the elements all around at all times. But it's just when the plant feels like feeding, more so than needing food and needing to be fed. This will make sure the nutrients are available anytime the plant's ready to feed and will ensure no slowdown and optimum growth. I would say watch the water consumption of a plant somewhere around week 10 to about week 13. This is usually when the plant starts to slow down on consuming nutrients and just starts to go into a slow, steady growth of forming the buds, forming and finalizing the buds. Now, keeping height in mind, these plants sometimes triple, if not quadruple in height. If you start flowering at two feet, this plant could get up to eight feet tall. Make sure to keep training in mind. Also, a shorter veg might help to keep the thing under control. And if it's outdoor, you might need to light dep it. Light deprivation. Basically, forcing the plants to flower sooner than it would naturally outdoors. Because these plants sometimes finish anywhere from November, December, January, yeah, you might want to speed that thing up because it might be a little too cold for it to be giving you the best bud in 32 degrees. And of course, patience. Patience is very key. I know this takes double what an indica flowering time would be, which is about eight to nine weeks. We're talking here anywhere from what, 12 to 16, 20 weeks. If you want some Oaxaca or something like that, some Thai. So just make sure you be patient. What I personally like to do is grow some plants that flower sooner, working on those while my other plant is finishing flowering gives me time to harvest, cure, and dry the sooner flowering times to kind of keep me occupied and not worrying and looking out at the plants every day trying to pick it before it's ready. I've been in. Also, if indoors, the light cycle might need to go past 12 and 12 to an 11, 13, a 10, 4. We might even be talking a 9 to 5 for some varieties. So just make sure you keep these considerations in mind. I would definitely recommend that you grow some shorter flowering plants before you go into this four month endeavor of sativa and native land race strains. And add some work. But getting some grows under your belt will help to develop that patient. Also help you read the signs of when the plant is mature enough to harvest. This is Brutal Monkey. This is the tip of the week. I hope I could help. You enjoy yourself, fellow cannabisians. I'm in. This I command!